Hi everyone, Michelle here at Serendipity House in New Hampshire. I just used the newest paint and lay from Iron Orchid Designs called Melange. There are a lot of beautiful botanicals that you can separate to do small projects or large ones. I decided to try some small projects this time using recycled items, so I did not spend any money. I'll show the whole process to you in this video. There's a product list and links below so you can buy all of your Iron Orchid Designs DIY paint brushes on my website, serendipity.house. Start by collecting your frames and taking them apart. I'm using the glass as a template to cut pieces of cardboard. I'm using some watercolor paper from my stash. It's heavyweight and will go right over the cardboard. All my frames are going to have either black paint or gold to make them work together on a gallery wall. Time for the paint inlay. This is Melange Paint Inlay by Iron Orchid Designs. I'm just gonna choose some of the designs I like best and start there. I'm applying a coat of DIY clay paint in White Swan and lay your paint and lay right into the wet paint pigment side down. Next you want to use a brayer and get all those wrinkles and bubbles out. Then just put that aside while you work on a couple more of your paint and lay pieces. About two minutes later, the first inlay is ready. Remove the carrier sheet. Sometimes you need to spray with water if it's not wet enough. It should come off pretty easily. Now you decide if you wanna leave these black on the white or if you wanna have a little more fun like I did, you can paint them in. Here I'm using some watercolor paints. Yeah, I kind of couldn't stop, so I am adding some watered down DIY paint in Farm Fresh to the background. With this one, I'm going to use watered down DIY paint just to play around and see how it's different than using the watercolors. You can find all the Iron Orchid designs and DIY clay base paint on my website, serendipity.house. I dropped a product list below for this video and some links. When your paintings are all dry, it's very important to spray them with a clear coat. You don't want anything to smudge. When I was done, I decided they needed a little more definition, so I went over them with a black paint pen. Then I added a little paint splatter because this really was all about fun. Pop them back into your frames, play around with some vignettes or maybe do a full gallery wall and enjoy the fruits and vegetables of your labor. <laughs> 